You are gonna like me a hell of a lot less once I share this information with you, but you can't. You cannot say a word about this to anyone. Do I have your promise? Yes, of course. What is this about? Okay. A few months back, I hired this young woman to be my social media strategist. One of them, anyway. And at first I thought she was attractive, but I'm married and I love my wife and we're trying to start a family. Fast forward a few weeks in and I have this new hire. I, we, she and- Sam, come on, you can tell me. I had her wrapped around my waist in the copy room, okay? <laughs> That's crazy. Fast forward to about last week and she's pregnant. Like actually pregnant and she won't get an abortion. And before you say anything about the pro-life and all that, I'm right there with you. Believe me, it's just having a baby right now would ruin my entire life and I've worked way too damn hard to get where I am today and Sammy, I just can't- Sammy, listen. We just have to think all this through logically. Logically? There is no logic here, Brittany. There's just the cold-hearted facts that this crazy bitch set me up. She planned this. This hire. She's using this baby against me as a, as a power over me, threatening and demanding things in the most disgusting way imaginable. She threatened to tell my wife if I don't give in to her demands. What does she even want? What does she... Just a house in River Oaks. And a car. And she, basically she wants me to build an entire world around her that she can't build on her own. She said if I sign a document, this document, an actual legal document stating all the things I have to do. So, if you sign this, then she'll get an abortion? It gets worse. Much worse. I've... I've hired a man. Sam, what the hell are you talking about? I've hired a man to kill her. Why are you telling me this? Because I have no friends. I have no one. You're the only, per the closest person I can trust enough to say this to. This is insane. You actually hired someone to kill this girl? Like, are you losing your damn mind, Sam? He's scheduled to do it tomorrow morning. I've already paid him off. <sighs> but, but I changed my mind about it. The whole thing. It's just, I can't get in touch with him because he's incognito. And, you know, I want to call this dog off, but once you make the deal, there's no going back. I just don't know what to do. Well, you have to tell her. Who? My wife? Uh, duh, your wife. But first, you need to tell the girl. Amanda. Yes, you need to tell Amanda that she's in danger. Sam, do you hear me? You need to contact Amanda and tell her she's in danger or you will be responsible for murder. Like, do you understand that? I can't do it. Well, then I can't help you with this. It, uh, wait, wait. No. You told me this and now I'm involved. If you don't call this girl right now in front of me, then I will call the police and turn you in my damn self. But you, you promised me. <sighs> well, I wasn't expecting this. We're talking about a human life here and actually she's pregnant. So we're talking about two human lives. And I'm sorry, but you need to take responsibility for everything you have done. It's the only way. <sighs> Please tell me you'll make this right for your sake and your family's sake, Sam. Okay. Okay. You're right. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, just good thing you were here to, to talk some sense back into me. Okay. I'll do it right now. I just think I'm going to... Need a shot of brandy before I do this. Would you mind grabbing the bottle from over there on the shelf? And, and grab yourself a glass too if you like.
Oh,